Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have for you my Sephora VIB sale haul. Now, this is not that exciting because I didn't get too much stuff. I got a lot of restocks of things that I use all the time. And um, I also ordered one other thing. It was the new Huda Beauty um, foundation stick and that hasn't gotten here yet. And I mean, it, they're shipping. I don't know about you guys, but Sephora used to have really amazing shipping. It would be like free, like two day shipping for rouges. And now it's like, I, it takes like over a week or more to get to me. And I don't know what that is. I think I, it, I don't know. So it's kind of frustrating because, you know, I'm so used to getting my stuff so quickly and now I'm just like, okay, well now it's like coming from God only knows where. But um, I digress, that's beside the point. I'm here to show you what I got. Um, some of the stuff is new and stuff I wanted to try, but like I said, a lot of it are restocked, so there may not be that exciting. Uh, first things first, I got the new um, It Cosmetics Your Skin But Better foundation. And this I did mention um, that I was going to pick up. It's in a really nice glass bottle and it's I got the shade medium neutral number 31 which is just like medium with no basically medium neutral with no you know yellow or you know cool or warm or anything it's just neutral which is my skin tone is very neutral it it doesn't really pull um much of anything I just like to have it kind of just a, a flat color and then just put like bronzer and stuff to warm it up otherwise if I Pull, if I pick one that's too warm, it's gonna go really orange on me and oxidize really bad. So um, I did try this today and um, I so far so good. It went on really nice. It's very, very liquidy. A little goes a long way, very buildable. Um, I don't really have too much to cover, just kind of want to even out my skin tone. And so far I really like it. I, I really liked how like my, my blush and my highlighter laid on it. And um, so far so good. I, I will keep you guys posted. Um, and it says it's water light, medium coverage, natural radiant finish. I don't know, it, so far I really liked it. I, I really did like the way that it applied. Um, I did go over a couple places, you know, uh, you know, with another layer and it, it blended beautifully. I did it with a brush. Um, I applied it with this brush. I don't know if I've talked about this or anything. It's the Pro Core Diffuser Angle uh, from Sephora number 95. And it's like kind of like a, an angled stippling brush. It, this brush is freaking amazing. Um, it almost makes your foundation just go like airbrushed. Um, so I applied it with this. And then I just, on certain areas, I went over like a, a dampened beauty sponge and just kind of blotted them out just to make sure they blended in, like kind of like around my nose and um, like cheeks and stuff, just to make sure it was in there. Um, but this brush is, is amazing and I've had this for quite a while and it works really well with this foundation. I wouldn't recommend using a beauty sponge with this foundation because it is very liquidy. So I feel like that would soak up a lot of the product and you might get more of like a sheer coverage. So if you use a brush, you're definitely gonna get more of a, a medium coverage. It's definitely not full coverage, but if you're looking for a nice medium um, coverage foundation, this is just amazing. So we will see how it goes. Then I picked up this, which is kind of random, um, but it is something that I've wanted. It's called um, Skin Fix Remedy Plus 911 Ointment. And it's supposed to be clinically proven to pr protect chapped cracked skin and minor cuts and burns um my hands and i'm sure like everyone else's hands have been really put through the ringer this year um with just the constant hand washing and hand sanitizing and i actually have a spray bottle of alcohol that i keep in my car and anytime i'm in and out of the store no matter what i actually spray my hands with alcohol because i i just I'm, I've always been, the funny thing is I've always been a germaphobe, like I've always washed my hands and always had hand sanitizer and I've always cleansed my hands like constantly because I just didn't like touching things and now it's like even, you know, more, I'm like, but I'm doing it, you know, way before you guys like said it, but um, I noticed like it makes my eczema um, break out really bad, like here, I get it really bad like on, on my, my hands here and like in between my fingers, so I'm constantly like trying to put lotion on but it's hard because then you know, you wash your hands again, but this just looked, you know, very um, interesting that it would be able to help. I, I don't know. We'll we'll give it a we'll give it a go. Um, and it says it it's clinically proven to it, to improve skin barrier function. So if something like this can just help a little bit, um, I know if you wash your hands a lot, I, I will report back if that's worth it or if it's a gimmick. Um, and then one of the I guess. I'll just stick with kind of the new stuff first and then what I restocked on. Um, this is a primer by The Ordinary. I've never tried anything from this brand before, but it was like, only oh, I think I want to say like $4 or something. And it's a blurring primer and it's supposed to be 
um, high adherence. So I really got this more or less to try out when it's like really hot and humid, like in, we have like, I don't know, 115 with the heat index, but it just looked interesting and it's supposed to, you know, help keep your makeup on. And I thought that would be great because when it's really hot like that here, I don't really wear a lot of face makeup because it's just gonna slide off. So something like this, um, it was inexpensive, so I will definitely give it a try. Um, it's kind of been a little bit cooler here. Um, it's still warm, but not as humid. I'm still hoping and waiting for our like fall to arrive, which it hasn't. Um, and I got a lip gloss by Tarte, and this is in the shade Villa. And I really like Tarte products. I've always been a fan of Tarte. Um, this is the H2O gloss. It's just, it's nothing exciting. It's just basically a pinky nude color. I love to just have something like this to throw on, um, especially if your lips get dry. It's always good to have just like a sheer gloss to, you know, keep, it's gonna go with everything. So I picked that up. And then another blush is in the shade Party. Um, if you guys remember, a couple of years ago, they did for their birthday gift, they did a like a little tart, um set and it had this blush like in a mini size and then a really pretty lip color and I really really liked the blush and I finally decided to get it in the full size it's nothing again earth shattering but it is just like a pretty pinky nude color that will go pretty much with any skin tone I mean if you're a bit darker it probably would be a little lighter but I think anyone could wear this and I just really liked that little guy and I wore it all the time so I decided to pick up the full size of it and then this is the um, Lawless Seal the Deal Mini Loose Setting Powder. And I, I'm pretty picky about my setting powders. I kind of just like what I like and I don't really like to stray, but I did hear really good things about this brand and this powder is supposed to be good. So I decided to get the mini size because if something is in a, in a mini size and I'm not really sure about it, I like to get that first. And if I like it, I will pick up the big size. Um, so it's just supposed to be just a nice little loose powder. And I'm always all about that. The finer, the better, the the lighter the better because all I really want is just to kind of lightly set my foundation that way it doesn't go anywhere and um, it, it's it's talc free so that sounds like it should be a good thing and again I've heard a lot about this brand and I just haven't really tried anything so we will give this a go and then on to my restocks which what, what am I gonna get um, first thing is my Kerastase uh, serum extension East I swear by this um, I use this, you know, after I wash my hair, I put it on my scalp and just kind of massage it in. And I really think it helps, you know, heal your scalp. It helps your hair grow because it's healing your scalp and, and just kind of making it healthy. So hair, you know, hair can't grow if your scalp isn't healthy. So I just love this um, and I use it all the time. And I always try to get a bottle during the sale because they are pricey. And now that Sephora sells this, I, I mean, you can't go wrong. Um, I got another one of my Elixir oils. I thought I added the full size to my cart, but apparently I added the mini size, which, I mean, it's still a decent size. This is the plastic bottle, um, but I could have sworn I put the big size in there and I, I guess I just didn't realize it because I had everything in my cart and then I went to bed and then I woke up at uh, like a little before 3 a.m. Um, and I just placed my order and I didn't really like double check it because I figured, well, everything's in there. So I must have been my haste to put the small one, but that's fine. I mean, I only use this when my hair is wet in it and I only use a little bit of it. So this should still last me and I still have a lot left in my big size, but this is fine. Um, and then I stocked up on my two favorite hair masks. Um, if you watched my hair care video, you probably know which ones I'm gonna mention. Um, this is the Virtue uh, Restorative Treatment Hair Mask. This is so good. It is, it, it smells good. It just, it works. It hydrates your hair. It's just, it's amazing. It is so thick. Like if you look at that, like, oh, it's, awesome. And then of course my um, Shu Yumero Ultimate Reset. I've loved this for forever um, and I've loved it for as long as, I, I mean even when it was the old one, the Ultimate Remedy, I love it. Um, Reformula one is not as good but it's still just amazing and I just, I love this brand again. Now that Sephora sells it, you can't go wrong with picking it up there because hey, they're expensive and if you can get it on sale, why not? And then lastly, my Kiehl's uh, Creme de Cor Lotion. I have used this, again, for so many years. It's the only thing I can really use on my body that's not gonna irritate my skin or make it freak out. It keeps it hydrated and it sinks right in and I can get dressed right after I use it. So 
I absolutely love this and this is, um, I try to get them twice a year. I get one during the VIB sale and I always get one during the Nordstrom anniversary sale, which they're actually a better deal during the anniversary sale, but what are you gonna do, you know? So I get um, twice a year and they, they do last me. So love this and I think that's it. it. I know it was not very exciting and not very long, but um, like I said, I haven't really been excited that much about makeup. I mean, I've kind of just been like using what I have and there are a few things, like I said, I wanted to try and that Huda Beauty Foundation, I really, it got such amazing reviews on it and everyone was talking about how it's like skin-like and it's like lightweight. So I was really bummed that that wasn't here because I really wanted to try it. But when that gets here, hopefully I will try it and then let you guys know, but I did get that and I'll, I'll list it below. Um, but hopefully when it gets here, it gets here. So I wanna thank you all for watching and thank you all so much for the love and support you guys have shown me since I've come back. Um, it just, it, I missed you guys so much and I just missed our little community of just happiness and you know uplifting and just like really positive vibes. So that's what I'm about and I hope that you guys are enjoying it as well. And I'll see you very soon. Thank you so much again for watching.